For the first time today, we saw video and pictures taken inside the Billings home at the time of their murders. The court agreed to let us look at the evidence, but not to reproduce anything except the 911 call. Fox News reporter Hubert Tate was one of the people allowed to look at that material. The Billings home appeared to be just like any other. When the crime scene photos were taken, there was a watermelon slice on the counter and a kid's cartoon playing on TV. Murder pictures were not released, but the 911 call was. Serious 911, is Jeff. Hi, I need somebody to go out to my parents' house. Uh, I was on the phone with my sister and trying to get in touch with them, and she said they were on the bathroom floor and there's nobody there. Um, she said they were dead, and I don't know what she's talking about. What's her name? Um, Melanie and Bud Billings. To prevent reporters from taking pictures with cell phones, the state attorney's office required us to put all devices in this brown envelope, but we could take notes. In the couple's bedroom, we saw that Bird Billings' body was found face down with his hands under him, bound with a single zip tie. Melanie Billings' body was found face up with her right shoulder slumped against the bedroom wall. The most heart-grabbing message was in a painting on the couple's bedroom wall. It read, just one lifetime won't be enough for us. The gruesome nature of the crime is not keeping away members of the public who want to see the material. Because of the situation with the family and the number of children involved in the home, uh, it has garnered a great amount of interest. We also noticed there were many toys scattered about the home, not unusual for a family that adopted special needs children. However, one of those toys had blood splatter on it. Reporting from the Pensacola studio, Hubert Tate, Fox 10 News.